we just launched into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you've not tried playing here yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about their 30-day VIP trial. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have a flower, four, six, seven in bams, two, three in cracks with a pair of twos, one, two, four in dots with a pair of fours and a pair of red dragons, two, four, mixed suits, two, four, no eight. So we don't have even potential yet. I think the seven bam can go for sure. We could do one, two, three, four of some kind. So I think I would break up the dragon. Actually, you know what? We do have two, three dragon here that uses two multiples. Maybe we should think about that. Let's let two, four, six, eight go and keep the four. We could maybe do a mixed suit hand with the fours if we get a three bam, but that's a big if. Here's another four, two, three, four, dragon. Now we have two wins. I try not to pass two wins. Maybe what we could do is play the concealed hand and use the joker for the missing five. This would be a gap hand. We could also do two, three, pair, pair, four, four, and break up the red dragon. Instead of playing a gap hand, let's do that. No gap hand. So we're going to do two, three, four, four. Second hand from the bottom. No gaps. Oh, we just got the five. Yikes. There's no gap there now. I think I'm going to risk passing west south. If we get, get the red dragon back, we could go to the concealed hand now. There's no gaps there. It's better to not play a gap hand. We're kind of in between. Second hand from the bottom and third hand down under consecutive red. We got a two now. Okay. Since we need a pung there, let's go back to the concealed hand or the third hand down. I'm thinking we're going to try to get that red dragon back. So let's break up the four dot. Right now we have like numbers with fours in our discards. Two, three, four, five concealed if we can get that red dragon back. Or the third hand down and we can use a joker with two, three. We got the dragon. Nice. All right, and now we can pass. Three, going across. We're gonna try for this concealed hand. It's a little bit risky because we need pairs of the three, four. So those would be a weakness in this hand. We have no gaps, but we do have weaknesses. Pair weakness. No keepers. This will be interesting. We cannot call any tiles. We have to pick to build. No keepers. And we can pass three, but let's wait and see what our opponent wants. We have four discards, so I'd say we're a contender for this game. We might get a keeper out of this. Let's see if we can get one of our tiles in this optional. I don't think so, though. My guess is no keepers just because of what was going around. So we're going to have to pick well. We got a flower. That's a gift. Thank you. All right. 
We have three discards. I'd say we're a front runner now. Green Dragon. Although we are playing a concealed hand. So I would downgrade that to a contender. Because if we don't Green draw dragon. well, then we're going to be stuck. We need to get at least one of these one pairs dragon. in here quickly. Green Dragon. Okay, there's five. Seven I'd say dragon. we're back up to being a, a front runner. <laughs> we have Seven. just one discard now. So really, this goes with the five. And we need to draw a three or a four to get ready to win. That is a specific tile. One bamboo. Hmm. Well. One dot. We want to stay adaptive. Four bamboo. So if we... If we draw... Two dots. A three or a red dragon. I probably would switch to the third hand down to a to a callable hand. There's four another flower. Dots. Another flower. Okay. We really can't use that with what we have. Eight dots. There's only one four flower hand in consecutive run, and it is a mixed suit hand, which we did consider. Eight with fours, but I think we Eight should let that flower go. Let's let the flower go. Flower. We need one good pick to be ready to win. Nine bamboos. We cannot call for a pair, so we have to pick four it from dots. the wall. Three, four crack is what we're looking for. Pung. Seven bamboos. Another flower. Oh boy. Flower. Nine dots. Nine bamboos. One bamboo. We don't need winds. North wind. Eight bamboos. Six bamboos. Five bamboos. We got the three. Nice. All right. We are ready to win on a four crack. There's a big hesitation on that east. South wind. Nine characters. So we need a four crack to win. The challenge at the moment is this player on the left. North wind. If they're playing three, oh, I guess we don't have to worry about that. Mahjong. Woohoo. We've got consecutive run concealed. That was a bit challenging, deciding whether to go for the concealed hand or that second hand from the bottom. We also had potential for the third hand down. The key, I think, here is going for the hand with no gaps. That's the first key. The second was keeping an eye on options if the pairs didn't build. But in this case, it did. Let's go see what everyone else was playing. It looks like maybe an odd hand of some kind, but not sure with that pair of Souths in there. They might have been thinking about a quint with threes. And then here, six, seven, eight, concealed, or east-west with six, seven, eight. East and west with six, seven, eight is probably what they were starting with. Oh, here we could have had a contender for our tiles. Three, four. They're playing four, five, six, seven, just a little bit outside our range. So I think we had a really good chance of completing this hand based on what's in everybody else's hand. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.